If you're looking at generators, what's the difference between EPA3 and CARB? They're both the same price. Which one should I get? First, we need to understand the difference between EPA and CARB. And if you're wondering, does CARB mean carburetor? No. CARB stands for California Air Resources Board. And the EPA3 stands for the EPA, the United States Environmental Protection Agency. Now, each one of these organizations have their standards. So this generator company has to prove that it meets their specifications. The manufacturer has to go through expensive testing to prove that. Both of these organizations want to make sure that these machines are not going to put out a lot of pollution. So if the generators are the same price, which one do you get? CARB or EPA3? Chances are the generators are identical. Now, to meet the CARB specifications, that is in California and it's gonna be more stringent. An EPA-3 generator can be run in any of the states except California. So if the generator costs the same for CARB or EPA-3, I'd go with CARB, that way you can run it anywhere. CARB meets all the EPA-3 requirements, and because it's more stringent, it meets a few others. So if you were looking at the differences between CARB and EPA-3, now you know the difference. Now, if you were in California running a generator that did not meet the CARB guidelines, you could end up with a fine, even though the generator is exactly the same. So if you do have the choice, it'd be a safer bet to go with CARB. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.